Hello, hello, hello. How are we all doing? Just checking my phone is on silent. Whoops. No, I don't think it is, so bear with me two seconds. <laughs> As you can see, wasn't very good brownie. Uh, sound. Mute. There we go. That's better. Don't want anyone ringing me while we're doing live. Hello and a very warm welcome to my live. My name is Julie Sean. I'm coming to you live from the UK. It's just after six o'clock on Monday, the 2nd of October, 2023. And welcome to October and welcome to a new week, a new month, new everything else, um, new opportunity to raise your vibration, etc., etc., etc. As you can see, the title from my live today, Motivation Mindset Monday, Abseiling, Caving, Cable Cars, Raise Your Vibration. OMG, what a weekend I've had. I look as if my mouth is not with my voice. It does say too low of FPS, so I don't know what's going on. I'm going to carry on. Okay, so yeah, it does look as if I'm saying something and then my mouth moves afterwards, so it's a little bit offsetting, but okay, I'll keep going. Okay, okay, keep going. So, how was your weekend? Um, it's really funny. I said, to her, should we go away for the weekend? The weather looks quite nice. Well, it was quite nice in Northampton and Milton Keynes. It wasn't up in Derbyshire, but hey ho, what happened? We still went ahead and did it. Um, but we've had a great time, great weekend. Um, yes, so we did uh, ro rode on a cable car up and down the Abra uh, heights of Abraham. I had done that before. Well, I have done a cable car before, but not not this, not where we had done it. They had two caves we went down in. One was led by a guide dressed up in Victoriana clothes, if not later than that. I don't know. We learned all about lead mines and stuff. Absolutely interesting. I also sneaked Reiki Teddy in um, and took a couple of photos of him sitting in the rocks in a cave. Yes. Reiki Teddy, um, I did a video of him on the on the cable car as well. Um, I've been quite busy today doing a school uh, school run. Yes, yeah, so Nana's been doing a school run with the kids today. Um, so I ran out of time to do his editing, but just keep an eye out on Reiki Teddy for the next couple of days. There will be a Reiki Teddy video of his holiday away. Um, and uh, he did get rather wet and soggy, bless his cotton socks. So he didn't make it to the, um, what do you call it? Uh, the abseiling yesterday it was just too wet I wasn't going to get him out it was just too wet and soggy and muddy and there were too many kids around I just thought someone would spot the Ted and off they, he'd disappear so he didn't actually go to abseiling it was me who did the abseiling with my daughter um, she did amazing she was incredible um, I think she was rather ner nervous however when we were walking down this little 15 minute walk down to the um, bridge to do the abseil we were talking I was talking to the um, guide and saying oh well, this is what we do we do hello lavender moon we we do something every month something new or meet someone new or try something new or go somewhere or new or do so I don't know whatever and uh, so we did the uh, Heights of Abraham which was new for both of us on the Saturday so we finished the month on a high um, and then we started I suppose the new month on a low <coughs> take well actually taking a leap of faith um, my I posted that I don't know if anyone's seen the video there is a video on my channel on my Facebook page and all my elder brother has put was nutcase <laughs> That's it. He just put nutcase. I went, oh, okay, Charlie. That that sums it up in one mouthful. Nutcase, totally. And but as we were walking down to do this jump, and I was quite actually, I was okay. I wasn't actually nervous from that much. Um, leading up until then, and we were chatting away, and he says, oh, a lot of people do the A B C, and I went, oh, what's that? And he goes, well, he goes, you do something from the letter of the alphabet, A for abseiling. And I can, oh, B for boating. My daughter's come up with B for bungee jumping. Well, I'm not sure about that one. B for budget. How charming of it. Yeah, nutcase. That's the old one. It just made me laugh. That's what we put, nutcase, with a few laughing emojis. <laughs> Actually, I have a feeling he's done a bungee jump. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to be in a nutcase. Well, um, I did it three times. It was so good. 
I drove back and did it a couple of times. Oh, you should see that. I decided, um, Anna, it was actually, it was quite nice. It was just the two of us. Uh, well, there was loads. There was a whole scout trip and there was another lot of people. But in the group we were doing with just this one guy called Pete, very nice gentleman. That was just me, my, Anna, myself and him. Hello, Colin. Um, but <laughs> I don't know if anyone's seen, um, seen the video. If they've seen the video, let me know. Um, it is up there. It is also as a short on my YouTube channel. So you have to look in my shorts on my YouTube channel, but it's up there. But it is actually um, there. So check it out. But to to actually step, you have to start to climb. You're on a bridge and you have to climb over this metal wall. It's a like there's a fence, then there's a gap and then there's a, a metal thing. And you have to sort of climb through this gap. Well, Colin, you'd be fine. No offense. You've got long legs. But when you're someone like me and Anna, who's like five foot two, five foot three, um, you sort of <laughs> go through, you put one leg over, but then it doesn't touch the ground, okay? And you have to sort of lean. Now, if someone like Colin, you could do it, you know, just lean over, put your leg over, and then you do that. Well, Anna and I both had to sort of lean over the edge to put our foot, our right foot, he goes, right, put your right foot through it. So I'm going to do that. Well, and then I'm there, teetering on the edge, clinging to the metal thing, and he goes, right, get your other leg over. Do you get your leg over? Oh, I've never heard someone saw me get your leg over before. <laughs> Do you think I can get my leg up? No, I couldn't. So I managed to lift it half up, and I went, someone's going to have to shove my leg. <laughs> and I was stuck, like in a 90 degree, well, I was going to say it was actually like 90 degrees, except it's like that, you know, there's my, my left leg, and then there was my right leg stuck on the thing, clinging onto the thing. And this is even, I had a rope on me. So don't worry, if I'd fallen, he would have caught, well, he would have taken the whole weight on me. So I got a leg over. Yes, three times. <laughs> Watch out, twin Tinder, I'm on it now. <laughs> so I had to shove, so I was the first one. She shoved my leg over. I nearly went flying, actually. I'm like, hang on, I'm only on the one rope. I haven't been attached to the other rope yet. Don't we nearly went, nearly went. Then you, then you sort of wiggle along the thing to a pillar where, where it is. So you sort of like that. Then you're holding on. So he goes, hold on to the metal thing. So you're hanging on to the metal thing. Don't move yet. So then you're, he's clipping the other. So you've got, you know, you, you clip two. You've got the, the rope that hangs onto you. And then you've got the sliding rope, the grey rope. So you've got like one colour rope, which is your, or the green rope, which you're attached. Green, earth, earthing you, earthing you. So you've got the one earthing thing, which is sort of wrapped around his waist, wrapped around the the uh, so it's wrapped around him, wrapped around the uh, the 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 bridge, wrapped around. It's real and truly wrapped. So if you went, bump, you would have been like a bungee jump. Actually, it could have been a bungee jump. Um, you've got this harness on. Managed to get the harness on. Got the hat on. Um, and uh, I must admit, when you first start, it's not very elegant. And if you do watch the video, the first thing you see is my big ass. Yes, does, does my bum look big in this harness? Yes, my darling, your bum does look big in the harness, but keep going, keep going. Little steps, little steps. Well, it's fine when you first start off, because you first start off, and you're walking down the bridge. Then the bridge disappears into an arch, so you're going all down, so you're going to go, so, so you get, and then it's like shite. And of course, once you start taking that footstep you, you can't get back up you know you, you're done you're committed you're committed to the abseil you know i don't think you could get back up if you wanted i suppose you could possibly you know if there's no hunky farm in there who could yank you back up but once you go over and you're in that position and you hold it it's like as soon as they go right you go it's like you take one hand off you put it on the um cable that you're feeding through as soon as you do that that's it you're committed you you know because you let go and you're gone sort of thing so it's like, well, okay, so, so I went for it. And actually, I was quite excited. I thought I was be shitting myself, but I was really quite excited. Well, you know, that's Anna going, excitement and fear, it's on the same, and I'm going for it. But I decided, I said to Anna, I'm going to go first. I didn't want to, so I made her watch me. She goes, yeah, so I can hear you scream all the way down, and I won't do it myself, Susanna. But I thought, no, if she screamed all the way down, I definitely wasn't going to be doing it. But there was a whole load of young kids there, and I thought, I'm not going to embarrass myself, you know, Nana. I, um, I don't think I was quite the oldest one there was another person there who was as, sort of as old as me there was a, a granddad uh, a couple of granddads there watching their kids go over but I think um uh, probably the third oldest person to go over the guy did say to me he had sent a, an 83 year old lady um down abseil first and I thought well if she can do it I didn't do it 
<laughs> so you start there. So you got this right, and you're sort of going down, and then and you're, you're sort of climbing down the bridge, and then the bridge disappears. You're called the arch, and he goes right. Get your feet on the edge of the bricks. But it's like, well, you know, you're either going to sit here for the next 50 years or you're going to have to take a step off. And he goes, lean back, lean back, push with your feet. So you sort of lean back, push, and then you're gone. You're like, and then bump, and off. <laughs> down you go. Well, I did it first. It was great. The worst bit was chucking it down. If you've seen the video, you're chucking it down with rain. Absolutely chucking it down. I'm trying to be good, I swear. <laughs> I know. So, um, and then... You have to get out of the gorge, walk up all the steps, the cliff face and stuff, back up again. It was all mud. It was all oh, gunk. I was fine. Get up to the top. <gasps> and uh, and then I decided, right. So he says, you're going to do it again. And I went, well, yeah, because I said, it's not being videoed. It needs to be videoed for my, my YouTube channel. It needs to be videoed for Facebook to prove that I've done it. You know, all talk, no do. I needed video evidence. So he goes, so I'm going to do it again. Meanwhile, I went to Anna, um, Anna had to walk, she, she done, done hers while I was climbing up, she was doing hers. So, she then had to walk back down into the cliff, down, 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 down the cliff the side of the fence, you know, down, down, down the cliff edge, down, 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 down. And then I went, you ready, got the camera ready? She's going, yeah, got the camera, you ready? I went, right, now, forever. <laughs> and off we go. So she videoed it for me, a few photos. Well then, I stayed down there. <laughs> And I went, you go up there, don't video me, you can take photos, but do not video me, because I think she's only discovered that your bum looks quite big in the harness, and it was like, my bum, I don't want any pictures of my bum, I went, well, we'll see about that, and it depends on which way you're going to come down, but you will be coming down bum first, so you might have to do that, when you get um, over the, the bricks, you have to then swing round, smile, and then I can take some photos, because that's what I did, because it was like, you come down bum first, and then when you let go of the brickwork and then you're in the air you're floating away sliding down the rope you swing yourself round and a big smile for the camera smile for the camera <laughs> remember the smile you are enjoying it <laughs> yeah a for abseiling and then after it and then so we went and then we did one more i did another one so we did a third one he did say we had time to do a fourth one by which time inhaler <laughs> I went down, uh, I mean, and the bungee jump, and the, the, the bungee, the, um, that abseiling is great. Do you know what? I could get really addicted to it. I thought, this is really good. I think I will try and do it again. I, actually, I will do it again. Now I've got my confidence. And stepping over, and I've got to say thank you. I mean, Colin, you have done so much confidence building for me. It's like, I love you, Colin. I would never have been able to, uh, well, I'm probably, but, you know, all these things I've been doing, that the, the, it was like, no, I'm not really worried about this. I'm really quite looking forward to it. Before, I would have been shitting myself, and I would have sort of just, I don't even think I would have climbed my leg, put, put my leg out of the thing, and I don't think I would have let go. Um, and, of course, when you're abseiling, when you do, like, when I did the um, zip wire, Z, the zip wire, when I did the zip wire down in Bournemouth in the summer, um, I didn't, I had to be helped. I had to be helped. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I had to be helped off the tower there because it was like, ooh, this time you have to do it yourself because there's no one there. You know, you're literally like, leave go. you got to leave go, girl. But hang on, but you're holding onto the rope. So you sort of literally take, let go one, let go of the metal, grab the rope. Let go of the metal, grab the rope. So it's like, yeah, so you're literally... So, you know, so one minute you're holding a metal bar, next minute you're holding two ropes. And then you go with a smile on the face because it's like you're frigging awesome. And as my elder brother has put on my Facebook page, nutcase. Yes, totally nutcase. Well, when we were walking, so I did it three times. By which time? Because your adrenaline, and what happens, right, as you come down, your adrenaline, your, your adrenaline kicks in. And it's like you're really buzzing. And as soon as you land, what happens is your legs... You hit the ground where well, you sort of land on the ground but the adrenaline is pumping around so much that your legs are like jelly so that most people sort of a lot of people land up on their bottom Anna said just Anna and I decided we weren't going to try and land on our bottoms because it was too wet and muddy and I didn't want wet, wet muddy jeans um, yes I do recommend jeans as opposed to uh, leggings because you need the because um, you've got the uh, what do you call it the, the harness 
is around your bum and around your groin and it will rub so you do need um uh jeans not leggings it would be better you know um <laughs> and so yeah i recommend so we had the jeans on so we that but you stand it and then you're wibbly wobbly because the adrenaline is pumping around your body and because you've just done this exhilarating ching, actually it's quite long it's quite a lot i mean i did it uh i was seeing the video i mean i think i did it the second time i did it quite quite quick actually i think i went a bit too fast it was like slow down because if i didn't stop i would have gone bump on the floor and being like a squashed tomato and uh, because i was thinking i need to slow down i'm going a bit too fast and it came down a lot slower than me bless her cotton socks well on the way back so we did three and he says you do you can do some more because of course there was only two of us and usually has a party of eight so he says you can go as many times as you want you got me until i think it was between one and three so he says you've got plenty of time you can do another couple well i said to him i said i, I can do the abseil but i said my legs ain't doing the climb back up because your legs are so wobbly you've got all this adrenaline pumping around and then you're sort of you know, and then you've got to walk, walk, climb, come back up the cliff. And that was the killer. He says, that is what's killing everyone. Not killing them, literally. But that is what the, the hard work is. You've, you've had the adrenaline rush. You've done the bum. Oh, my God, wobbly. Yeah, wobbly legs. I mean, honestly, you just see me. Well, I'm really glad because I'm up, up the cliff. There's like a handrail, a wooden handrail. I was using that to get me up. Because I thought, wibbly, wobbly, it's all mud, it was all this. I thought, don't you fall, don't land on your ass. don't go, because you're going to be caked in mud. Absolutely. So I kept saying, yeah, and don't, don't embarrass yourself, girl. Don't embarrass yourself. Stay up, stay up. But yes, you've got this adrenaline is pumping up you. And then you've got, like I said, trying to climb up a cliff face as well afterwards so i did it three times by which time i said to anna i'd l and i would have loved to have done another one i really would this shows how unfit i am i was totally unfit but um you know it says god i'm so unfit I'm so unfit and you know what in having to moon i've been so glad that i've been doing all this walking and i've lost a little bit of weight i am so glad that i've gone on this healthy lifestyle since september um I am so glad. I'm so glad that I have been doing this because I would never have. Well, I'll probably take me a month for some days to get out of this little gorge um, wherever I was. Um, so on the way back, I went, oh, that's a good idea, Anna. You know, A, B, C. So we've done A, a for abseiling. So I'm coming up with B things, boating, barging. Anna comes up with bungee jumping. She's now decided she wants to go bungee jumping. Well, I thought balloon riding. I thought balloon riding. Hot air balloon. H for hot or B for balloon. So I was thinking balloon riding, boating, barging. No, she's decided bungee jumping. Now, I did say to her, the only thing I said, yeah, I think I could do bungee jumping if someone shoved me. I don't think I could jump with bungee. I don't know. Um, the only thing was that. And I said to her, the only thing about the bungee jumping is that when you get to the, when it got to the, but, the harness is going to really yank you. Now, what happened when I did my, and, and you're going to get bruised around the groin area. And I thought of that pain. Now, I, when you do your, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, parachute jump. <clears throat> when you, you've got your harness on with the parachute jump. Of course, you've got a frigging harness on. Um, I mean, I did my, I did my parachute jump in tandem. So I was with someone. Um, so you've, you're, you're, you're strapped, you've got a harness strapped to you, he's got a harness and you're supposed to strap together really, really tight. Like I said before, he was really, really, really excited. Really, really excited. And you can feel absolutely everything because you're so tight together. You couldn't get a piece of paper between the two of us. Except, ha ha ha, Well, exactly. Well, I did have my tenor lady on actually, thank God for that. But when you jump out of a plane with your parachute you jump out and that's fine because you're flying together when the parachute opens please open there's it opens up and you get this jump boom yank and the harness bloody hell does that hurt because you suddenly got the whole harness yanking up and it's all around your groin area and stuff like that so i said to anna yeah bungee jump i said the only thing that's putting me off is the harness and she said oh i've got a flash of lightning there and the only thing about that is because the thought of the pain from this harness that will you know as you know so um i said all right but i think bungee jumping will be something in the summer 
so we're looking at some ideas for B but like I said I came up with boating or barging go on a barge ride I might go down to Stoke Bruin and go on a barge ride now she's put bungee jumping so that's it ladies and gentlemen we will be looking into bungee jumping but I think um, we won't be doing that this time of the year now it's going to winter and stuff and I rather um, it be in the things but no that was good so the thing is mindset and motivation Monday is is that you know you had to be in the right mindset to do this and the, why am I doing all this you know leading an extraordinary life and it's proving that I can do it I'm really stepping out of your comfort zone and if you say to myself look if I can do an abseil if, you know, if I can do a, heli a helicopter, uh, uh, if I can jump out of a plane with a parachute, if I can do an abseil. And like I said, they've had 83-year-old people. He had an 83, 85-year-old lady done it. Not with us at that time, though. Um, and if you can do that, you can actually do anything. And it's your mindset. If you really want to do it. Um, oh, flash of lights. Um, glad to hear you're feeling better. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. I've been missing some, some things. So... <laughs> Ooh, rumble 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 in the jumble so it's like getting that right mindset um it's getting the right mindset of doing this and this is the mindset motivation monday if you really want something you're going to do it but you have to get yourself in the mindset and it's no good sort of going oh walking along to the bungee jump. oh this is going to be really scary oh i don't think i'm going to do it and i'm not going to be able to do it and da, da, da. all that negative mindset no we were chatting well chatting Ah, oh, you know me, chatting all the way down, going all the things, what were you doing? And this, and I suppose he was setting himself up, up mine. But then you've got everyone else, and they're all sort of going, oh, this is really good. Well, then you get the odd person, oh, I can't do that. And you go, shut up, shut up, go away. I don't want any negativity. I am going to do this. I am going to do this. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this because I put it on my Facebook page on Friday that I'm going abseiling. So I knew, I put it out there, my... um accountability buddy were you all there because I actually put you know um a uh, uh, cable car booked abseiling booked I'd actually put it out there so I didn't want to come back today and go nah I didn't do it I chickened out chickened out and does that mean I'm going to chicken out the rest of my life but it was the mindset and I'm motivated I was motivated to do it because I couldn't let you ever all down you know now I've got to walk the talk walk the talk and that's what I've got to do I've got to do it but like I said the compound effect of getting there is like you know losing some weight and dirtying the for air uh, getting fitter etc so I could walk up out of the uh, the the um the, the the from the bottom of the cliff upwards and things like that because if I'd done this about three months ago well, I would probably done one and I, and coming back up again, that would probably killed me. But because I've been doing this compound effect of eating healthy, doing a bit of exercise and do, 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 and getting outside in the fresh air. And normally I would have gone, oh, it's raining, not going to do it. I just went for it. And this is the motivation. And it's like, now if I can do a, an abseil, I can do anything. Bring it on bring it on now i'm not going to tell everyone that you need to go out there absolutely if you saw my post today where i've i've got the post and about you know but uh about it and then it says you know if you're feeling inspired and you want to go for it and then it says in book a pathfinder reading but uh, abseil is not included <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to go and do something but this is what you've got to do is step out of your comfort zone and the whole time this whole weekend i mean we have really packed it in this weekend i've been to derbyshire not been not that i've really been to derbyshire before when i went up to derbyshire we went to matlock bath not been there before did the um heights of abraham not done that before hadn't done those two caves i have done caves before but i hadn't done those caves before walked around matlock bath so that was all new then on sunday morning we went to um bakewell to see the original bakewell pudding apparently it's a pudding not a tart i got told off it's a bakewell pudding not a bakewell tart so i learned something new as well so we went to bakewell had a little very pretty little place they had a arts and craft um fair on so we went into that then it's like anna time's getting on we need to go now we're gonna go and do the bun the the abseil sort of thing so we tootled off and found this and it was absolutely amazing a place i said to anna i'd love to come back and do some walking around there it's a beautiful place around there and then when we came home good old sat nav goodness knows where sat nav took us I don't know, but it didn't take us the way we went. 
absolutely not. You won't grow, grow if you don't get out of your box when I say, say that. Absolutely. So this weekend, we have done so much, so much new stuff ending the month. Well, of course, we ended the month on a, a, on a full moon, a climax. So, of course, I had to end the month on a climax <laughs> with your leg over on the next day. Ah, oh, don't get me started. It is a pudding. I hope you found the proper pastry shop. Ah, uh, we found it, but there was such a queue. By which time, time was running out. Time was, we were getting, we were cutting it fine because we had to get from Bakewell across country to this place by one o'clock. Um, and there was such a big queue outside the original um, pudding shop place. Um, so maybe we'll go back another time and actually try it. But we did find a really lovely cafe. Um, and we had, oh God, we had pancakes, pa pa maple, ba pancakes and ba bacon and maple syrup. Oh, that was a great breakfast. That was really nice. Just what you need in a mug of tea just before you go um, abseiling. Best thing ever. Um, yeah, it is a pudding. Absolutely. I know. And, uh, and I got told off. Should we have some baked ball top? It's called a pudding. Oh, yes. And don't insult, otherwise you get thrown out of Derbyshire. Oops. So I learned something new. So, and you start there. Bakewell is a beautiful... It was lovely. It really is lovely. I didn't realise, you know, we spent... We were there for about an hour, hour and a half. And then it's like, I don't need to go. Need to find the place. And uh, I was driving. Yep. I was driving. Went down the country road. And it was like, right, it's going to be here on the left. Well, of course, we missed the turning, didn't we? I was too busy admiring the view. And going up this, this sort of hairpin bends and stuff. And it was like... I think we should have gone there. Well, then we had to turn around the country lane. Was there anywhere to turn? I think we travelled about a mile before we could find a gateway to turn. Could typical, there was nowhere to turn. Until we could turn the car around and come back. And then Anna goes, keep an eye out, because if we go in the other way, we're going to have to go another way. Bakewell visit for B. Abs yes! Absolutely, yeah. So like I said, so if we can come up, but Anna's decided she wants to bungee, but I said to Anna, I think we'll do the bungee jumping next spring or summer. Um, when the weather's a little bit nicer because the winter, I mean, if you look out where it's chucking it down, we've got thunder and lightning at the moment. Yuck. Um, so, yeah. So what a great start to the month of October. Well, October, we have an eclipse, I believe. We've got a, 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 an eclipse this month. We have the new moon, full moons. We have Halloween. I believe, I believe we have a full moon. Is there a full moon eclipse? Halloween, um, Halloween weekend. Don't quote me on that don't quote me on that um but yeah so october is amazing i must confess because i was away this weekend i haven't done the reading for the week month ahead so that will be recorded tomorrow so that i haven't actually done the reading for the month ahead so motivation you if you really want to go for something you you've got to you know there is it is all mindset it is all mindset the mindset is no good you know in the past i've gone oh i'm not going to do this all the negative thinking my thinking was laura polarity lavender moon laura polarity is excitement not scared excitement i'm going to go and do it i'm really excited about doing this not i'm shitting myself and i got my ten. well i did have my tenor ladies on anyway but you know that's another thing um but yeah and it's all mindset i'm going to do this and actually, I was really, I was surprised at how confident I was. But I blame Colin for that. It's all Colin's fault for hypnotising me and giving me this confidence. Look at me now. So we're going to go for it. So like I said, if we can come up with some ideas. Um, I've done the, uh, so yeah, so I did ABC. I've done um, abseiling, um, bakewell, and i done caving for C. So we've got to do D, dungeons. Come up with some ideas. So we're going to work our way through the alphabet as well as do anything. I mean, I've done a Z for zip wire this year, so I'm going to go through the alphabet and P for parachute jump and stuff. I might need to do another parachute jump because that was a long time ago. So <clears throat> the card for the day was taken from Raise Your Vibration. Now, when you're wanting to manifest and do anything positive, you can't do any action from a place of negativity, from a low vibration. Whenever you take any action, you are moving your body. You are moving the vibration of your body. Body. when you're sitting there there's not much going on but as soon as you shift yourself you've moved you've done a vibration so when you do an action you're vibrating so raise your raise your vibration oracle card by carl gray i may or may not do reading if i do you have to be over 18 if you're under 18 you need parental consent and uh 
parent needs to be there you're not allowed to get legal medical financial advice or pregnancy advice it's for entertainment purposes only if you choose to do it for any other reason it's down to you not to me that i've got broad shoulders whether you think you can do something or think you can't you will absolutely that is so true that is so true if you think you can do it you can do it if you think you can't do it then you can't do it that is so true that is so true um and uh and it's like oh you know you can't do this and it's like and the number of times i'm looking back in my life that i'm thinking you know i regret saying oh i can't do this can't do it. my mother used to say there's no such thing as can't so i used to say cannot um and uh yeah she used to say there's no such word as can't but it's so true oh <laughs> god it's got four shoulders so yeah so that that was um the weekend but it's like getting this vibration as soon as you move you're shifting your vibration you know you're moving from bed and getting out of bed you've done a vibration of way being asleep to awake and action action is a big thing sir. and the card for the day was devotion unites me with the infinite now devotion devotion is when you are wanting to i'm devoted to chocolate i'm devoted to god i'm devoted to this ice cream i'm devoted to this lifestyle of doing something a to z devotion is all about you know you're you're focusing and when another word for devotion is on focus when you're focused on things you focus on the infinite the infinite amount of possibilities the infinite amount of opportunities that are around there the infinite amount of ch chances to take and things like that uh you are uh, uh where, uh, you are your limit make of it what you will absolutely yes so devotion is your very focus you're devoted to people say oh, i'm devoted to jesus yeah because you're you're focused on jesus and leading a christian life or you're devoted to mohammed or buddha i'm devoted to you know like i said chocolate i'm devoted to a healthy health lifestyle and your focus is your devotion that's another word of focus of it and it says unites me with the infinite because when you are devoted to doing something you do as much as you can your infinite spending all your infinite time in doing that devotion that devotional work whatever it is devotion of being of service to people devotion of being loving to people devotion of whatever it is i'm focusing and this is the card devotion unites me with the infinite because your devotion is i'm devoting myself to all these amazing opportunities and i'm devoting myself to the abundance that is in the universe there is such an abundance that i'm devoting to myself and when you are devoting you're focusing you're focusing your energy all on that one thing that and nothing else well when you're working on it and that raises your vibration because you're then focusing that one thing that you want to do focusing on Anna and I were focusing on the abseil that's all we were thinking about yes I did a couple of times ago and I get your phone out because I need to do some photo videoing etc etc but the rest of the time it was like yeah i'm devoting on how to do this making the the safety talk and all this that and the other and blah 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 my focus was just on the abseil nothing else for that moment when i was going down that you know on that rope all i was thinking was that ground is coming up a bit fast and smile for the camera <laughs> But this is it and you're infinite there are such an infinite amount of possibilities you know when you start thinking i can do this and i can do this and do that and when you start thinking oh i can't do this then you can start teaching yourself you know i will say you know i'll oh, fancy going horse riding don't know we'll go and have some horse riding lessons oh, i want to go and do this good uh, will you teach yourself these things read some books on 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 history you teach read some books on you know i was also saying you know I've got this dream of having my own camper van or whatever i think i might be going for a volkswagen uh, camper van actually a bit smaller um but yes i've been doing a lot of research on how i can get my um uh internet you know <laughs> boosting my internet to attach it to the roof of the car etc etc do some research but there's an infinite amount of possibilities out there and once i get this motorhome god the infinite amount of adventures that i can have with it with the freedom of the road and this is it when you're devoted to my freedom devoted to my healthy lifestyle devoted to manifesting my dream oh my god i can then suddenly you know i've done an abseil now and i never thought of doing an abc so now it's like oh my god because i was thinking what can i do for october what can i do for november but now it's like hey why don't you work your way through the alphabet and do as many a things do as many b things do as many c things well now i've got an infinite amount of things to think about of doing and my bucket list to suddenly go whoa suddenly whoa, 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 whoa. infinite amount of possibilities 
so like that you won't regret it absolutely so i was actually talking to um my brother uh, my brother my my son works for we buy any car so i was thinking maybe i'll sell my car and use that money to put towards a, 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 a volkswagen camper um okay so who is here would like a car thank you for sharing and thank you for all the love hearts thank you for sharing thank you for all the love hearts so i hope you've all had a good weekend i hope you've all had a fun weekend whatever you were up to i hope you enjoyed the energy of the oh hang on dropping the cards the energy of the full moon and as i said embrace october wow we yes another month of wonderful opportunities so let's do colin 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 where is everyone we've only got three beautiful souls so let's do some shuffling let's do some shuffling let's do some shuffling so right colin 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 has truth is my teacher truth is my teacher there it is so truth is and it is the truth because we are fed the lies and then you suddenly found out that actually that's a lie and the truth is and you then discover a whole new you know, go down another rabbit hole but the vibration of finding out the truth the truth is you are amazing the truth is you can do all these things the truth is what's stopping you are these illusional stories that you're told by the media by the press by the government by the priests by the by the teachers by your parents yeah they are fed this illusion and then they are fed and they've been fed an illusion and the people before that have been and you're now being fed but you suddenly find out actually it is just an illusion the truth is as long as it's legal and doesn't hurt anyone else and doesn't hurt you the truth is you can do whatever you want if you really want to do it or if you've got this vision of i want to be a doctor but then it's like well i can't get into university but what does a doctor do they heal maybe you can be a healer in another field so oh, broaden your horizons you know you don't have to just be a doctor um you can be a healer so, you know that's what it is you know and they go well i want to specialize in things well why don't you in bones well why not be a chiropractor you know there's so many different things that you know you just get oh you've got to be a doctor got to be a doctor got to be a doctor but then it's like well actually what is it that does it's like with our beautiful joe when i sat her down and she goes what does a nurse do she helps she heals the Ill, sick what else she's a carer and now she's gone and it's like I've opened up her eyes to all these other opportunities and the truth is she was told that she couldn't do it this i told her the truth you can do it there is a way around in there i've stopped believing things i can't do looks like i've successfully fixed another daisy problem oh well done you so yeah the truth is your teacher yeah um i've stopped believing things i can't oh I, yeah i can't do that yeah exactly and you're learning so much i i i, I learn so much from youtube videos oh my god there's so much on youtube videos love it so the truth is you teach and you're learning so much more you're saving yourself money as well because you're doing and look at all the skills you're teaching yourself all these new skills and that's the truth is it's opening up so much of your legs right lavender moon and i do lavender moon and then i'll do sally so lavender moon lavender moon lavender moon lavender moon has abundance is a state of mind abundance is a state of mind this is so true if you're constantly thinking from a place of lack you will be you're welcome colin exciting to know what you had to fix daisy i know you were sort of doing some sealant on one of her her leaking parts the other day so yeah so this is for lavender moon abundance is a state of mind it's true i never realized this and i've i've always for a long time until i found out about the law of attraction and then working with the law of attraction and thinking why is it not working because i suddenly realized the abundance is a state of mind if you're trying to create and manifest an abundance of things but it's coming from a place of lack i've got no money i've got no money i really want to manifest a whole load you're starting from i haven't got any money but if you suddenly go well actually look at all the things that i've got here that i've converted from money into my computer into my mugs into my plants into my ornaments into the flat i have got so much so you know and then it's like yeah and then you're starting from a place of abundance and then you can move into more abundance it's hard to get out of the soggy mess it's a hard climb but when you start off from solid ground a solid place of abundance 
it's so much easier it's an easier step to do than having to climb from such a negative low air vibration if you're starting from a higher vibration already i mean my god you've done the hardest bit you know so this is it abundance is a state of mind and then we've got our beautiful sally love my lovely sally i love my lovely sally. Oh, i don't think i wasn't far off from from your part of the world actually derby derbyshire i think that's your part of the world okay sally 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 three people and 30 comments right um healing myself heals my lineage healing myself heals my lineage <coughs> so this is your healing myself heal and it does because it's like you know all this belief that my parents put told me because it's their story and their parents my grandparents told my parents my great great grandparents told my grandparents and great 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 now you're suddenly realizing actually i'm no longer having their limiting beliefs i have got this amount so i'm healing myself you're healing the lineage so people coming now in your future from your family you know you're the parent you're going to become the grandparent you're going to become the great great grandparent you are showing to them that actually they aren't limited they have gone abundance yes uh you wasn't when i saw you in matlock uh you wasn't when i saw you in matlock thank you my abundance my uh, i wasn't when I saw you in Matlock, I don't quite that, get that sentence. Ah, uh, don't quite get that sentence anyway. Um, healing myself heals my lineage. So yes, so this is what I'm healing because I. One of the reasons why I'm doing it is I'm showing to Anna, I can do this. This is a confidence. You know, if I can do this, I'm 61. You can do this at 26, Anna, and you've got all these opportunities that I never had at 26. I wish I had a chance because I'm thinking if I was abseiling and doing all this when I was 26 years old and I had that belief that I can do anything surrounded by people who are amazing, imagine what sort of life I would have been leading now. I never had that, but I'm now doing that healing and I'm showing my son and my daughter and hopefully I'll be able to show to my grandkids. I mean, yeah, it's my brother says you're nutcase. My grandkids probably think Nana's a nutcase because I turn up and go, what adventure are we going on today? Oh, they love it. Nana's here. We're going on an adventure. You know, even if it's just in the park, we're going on an adventure. I'm opening them up, not going them the negative, can't do this, can't do that. And this is the healing of the lineage, proving that, yeah, you can do it. And this is for you. Too far, oh, far away. Oh, right, Matlock. Oh, I, oh, right, okay. You was about 10 miles. Oh, I was 10 miles. Oh, 10 miles when I'd done 100 odd miles. Maybe next time I'll come up and visit. Okay, so healing myself heals my lineage. Absolutely, you're doing the calming. Yeah, so when people do their calmage, so you're clearing the karma of the past. So it stopped it. So anyone who comes next beyond you, you know your parent your kids your grandparent great grandkids and great great grandkids you've done the clear the karma so you're healing yourself heals there because they don't have to do that releasing because you're doing it for them and you're going look you can do this this abundance let's get that mindset going mindset of positivity all oh, right so it's only 10 miles away well i was planning on coming up again it's a lovely area so maybe next time i'll come up and visit and stay with you so that's what it's healing myself heals my lineage and it does because you're proving to everyone that they can do it and i'm saying to people well, i can do an abseil at my age you know what there's an infinite amount of opportunities there and this you know i haven't got the money well there's an infinite amount of opportunities to go and earn some money to be able to do it now we didn't spend well i did um the abseiling itself costs a little bit of money um but you know we'd saved up and put some money aside for it so we decided you know that was our focus that was our intention our intention was we're going to go and do this um go on the cable car and intention and this is what our intention was so we were putting our money aside you know over the cycle breaker you're welcome so um yeah so that is, is the cycle breaker be the cycle absolutely and hopefully um, and yeah, I regret, I wish I'd done that, but there again, maybe I wasn't in the right set. Well, I definitely wasn't in the right place. My daughter made a quite comment last, a couple of nights ago, I was sitting on the couch and she said to me, how old was it when you got married? And I went 26 and she said, you know what? That's how I, and I went, oh my God, I was your age, Anna, when I was getting married. Whoops, no, she, I mean, she's not even got a boyfriend. Oh, she's got a gentleman friends, but you know, yeah. But it was like, wow she's she's sort of like living her life she's going yeah you know she's single and she's having fun time she's doing all these things and it's like yeah and i was thinking yeah when i was 26 
you know, I was so so marrying someone who wanted all this adventure because I was doing a lot of adventures. I was traveling. I traveled to America and Canada and Europe and I was all this. And he was saying, yeah, we'll do all this. Really excited. I was doing all that age between 23 and 25. I was out there doing it. Got married. Yes, we're going to do that. And no, we didn't. And it just went like that. And it was like, whew. And it was like, yeah, so Anna, absolutely. You don't need someone because they will smother you. I was smothered for so long and now I'm shining and uh, but the thing is um, I had two amazing kids and I've got three amazing grandchildren so um, it was meant to be there was I had to go down that cycle to recover so you know bit of regrets but yes she she was like yeah I was your age mum and I went yeah your age I was getting married I was married at 26 I was married um, and uh, yeah so it was like whoa and you're not we're out there abseiling, planning our bungee jumping and things like that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Right, so motivation mindset, raise your vibration. Action is a movement. When you do a movement, you're vibrating. You're moving from here to here and so on. So what is your plan for this Monday? What are you going to do for this week? What are you planning? Why don't you say to me something that you want to do? And say it's something you want to do next year. You can start working on it now. And be an accountability buddy this week. And use today just to say, you know what? This is what I want to do. This is what I want to achieve. But you're doing that on the knowledge you want now. So it's okay if you change your mind later. Or you want to tweak it and things like that. You know, I'll do this, I'll do that, whatever. And it's okay to tweak it. But have a sort of plan. What is it you want? And what can you commit this week? We have got seven days until next Monday to actually do something for to that will take you one step closer to achieving your dream, whatever it is. My mindset things is like, you know, by, by working on my physical side, you know, getting fit and healthy, eating healthy things, so on and so forth. Um, exercising and stuff but doing all this you know reading the mindset books actually actioning them and then it's like right well I want to do all this I want to create some money what can I do this week that will bring in some money what can I do one one, one thing this week well I've been crying trying to create some journals and it came to a standstill so it's like you know what I'm going to work and create those journals this week and get them up there and out there and talk about some journals and create a a pdf on journals and things so that's what my um my plan of this week is to work on my journals also working on getting breaky teddy out there so that is my accountability this week so i'm going to write that down now uh journals and reiki teddy so i have now so next monday you can all come back and go julie julie sean did you do anything about your journals and did you do anything about reiki teddy and hopefully I'll be able to say yes, because that is now written down in black and white. Well, it is black and white, black on a white background. So what is it that you can commit? You've got seven days now, so you've got plenty of time to do one thing. One thing that will propel you. Now, like our beautiful Lavender Moon, who's working on her healthy mindset, getting fit and healthy with her exercises and things like that. Maybe this week her design is, you know what, there's a pose in, uh, is it yoga you do? Maybe there is a pose in yoga. Uh, I've been hating healthy though. So not very, yeah, absolutely. So you could say, right, now I'm feeling healthy. That's been feeling better. Take it easy. Maybe there is one pose in um, in yoga, I think it's yoga you do, that you think, you know what, I haven't quite mastered it. So this week, even though, you know, don't, don't damage yourself, maybe I will work on one pose. Maybe you're not well enough. Maybe I will do a chair yoga pose. Maybe that's all you're going to do. Find one chair yoga pose to do. So you're not actually doing too much because you're easing yourself back in so maybe watch a chair yoga video i don't know sally what can you do one thing one thing this week that will take you one step closer i know you'll like to in the future you'd like to um go and live in canada maybe that one thing maybe that one thing you can do is what sort of visa do i need to be able to live in canada 
I don't know one thing and you've got seven days in which to do it so lavender moon i'm just feeling better so taking easy but i will get back to exercising pro okay so that's what you can commit to yourself um the tabletop pose i've got to work on there you go so that is what lavender moon is going to do this week she is going to even if you just do it once even if you just do what do it once the tabletop pose even if you just do it once that's one more than what you did last week and that's it you committed yourself sally i need to get a project completed and get it in right there you go you've got seven days to do it so you've now got it down in black and white so you're going to go and do it because we will be checking up on you and when i finish i think i might write all this down in my diary so next monday when we come live i will be checking up on you colin are you still here what one thing do you think that you could do is there um research something um more engineering stuff to um i don't know for daisy i don't know whatever it is one thing that you think you can do prepare or maybe it's like well you know what Heck, daisy isn't going out anymore now it's winter maybe i need to get daisy sorted all and and bound up with her night her, her winter cover maybe it's one thing like that and go you know what i need to prepare daisy for the winter maybe that's your job this week i don't know put it down and then we can come back next monday and we go say god i've got to do this now come to the bloody chair this is the problem you've got it down in black and white okay well i hope you've all had um uh, enjoyed today thank you for listening to my story thank you very much for joining me um oh as i announced on friday there are no longer any half hour readings i am only going to be doing a full in-depth reading which is 50 pounds or a pathfinder reading i do do my numerology readings and other sorts of readings like that but i'm not doing any time there's not going to be any 30 minute readings anymore it's just going to be i, I haven't had a chance to get onto my uh uh, uh website browser to turn it off but there is just going to be a full in-depth reading because i was finding i was cutting people off with my 30 minute you know yeah da, 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 this is what the universe and then stop that's your 30 minutes end of and you're not getting the full works you're not getting the full knowledge you're not getting the full transformational me message you're not getting the full amount of guidance in 30 minutes and spirit as i keep saying spirit doesn't know about time so i'm not talking about timing all i am offering people now is either a full reading or a pathfinder reading now if someone says how long does it take it's as long as the sp you, spirit wants to talk so someone might get i don't know i'm not going to put the timing okay you get um and it's going to be either just a reading and as soon as i catch myself doing some mentoring i'd say oh no 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 that's pathfinder i need to learn to keep them separated well done calling you smash it i'll be preparing for my uh oh hang on uh i missed something uh, here colin i'll be preparing for my next project management exam not the most enjoyable things but it will be well oh yeah well exactly not yes but it's a compound effect the compound effect preparing it now yeah it's not the most things re re revision the weather's crap so you won't be outside sitting or trotting so you know while the winter's nice why not stay in and do some studying and good luck for your exam because it's going to be such an amazing compound effect you got the exam and then it's going to be well worth your career oh my god how exciting exciting career plans so it's like yay let's go for it and see what you can do to turn it into enjoyable see what you can do to turn it into enjoyable do something like you know what i'm going to study for 45 minutes and after 45 minutes i will treat myself um oh i know you can't eat biscuits um, whatever it is you can eat oh no it's lactose um so after 45 minutes of studying i will treat myself to half a lager or a packet of crisps i don't know treat yourself you know if i do some studying for 45 minutes in 45 minutes i will treat myself to watching spike milligan for half an hour i don't know so do something with a treat so you've got a focus go yeah i'm doing this study thank you once i've had some sleep i'll hopefully be good to go no sleep last night join the gang i was still awake at four o'clock but it was self-inflicted so i've only had about three and a half hours sleep so it's really when i was with my grandchildren earlier this afternoon milton kings oh i was yawning my head off and i was playing doll's houses with the little ellie and i was warning me head off and i go i think i've got to go now nana's got to go now nana's got to go home and do our live 
playing dolls houses with an 18 month old love it right okay so there you go well get some sleep get no sleep well we'll do sleep tonight so tonight when you're going to go to yourself say to yourself sally tonight that was last night that's done and dusted so tonight i'm going to have an amazing night's sleep tonight i'm going to have an amazing night's sleep and just focus on tonight i'm going to have a i was too had about an hour of dozing yeah so rather than focusing on i had no sleep i had no sleep so you're going to go with that negative thought go to yourself go tonight i'm going to have an amazing night's sleep i'm going to have an and if that one night is all an hour and maybe that's all your body needs just an hour <coughs> so go to bed tonight with i am going i'm really looking forward to my good deep sleep tonight and it doesn't matter if you land up with just one hour two hours four hours eight hours go with the mindset mindset monday the mindset tonight i'm going to have a really good night sleep i'm going to have a really good night sleep and as you're getting yourself comfy into bed going i'm going to have an amazing good night's sleep i'm going to have and just keep telling yourself i was too had a, so that's what you do you go to my don't, don't focus on yesterday do not focus on last night's sleep whatever you do don't focus on that focus on i'm having an amazing night's sleep what the lady yoga says remember to rest eat and sleep so i mean yeah maybe that's all i needed last night three hours sleep maybe that's all i mean i know i feel thing but you know what that's what my body gave me my body gave me three hours sleep so thank you body ah! and tonight i'm going to have an amazing night's sleep no no six hours sleep i'm not going to focus on six hours sleep and if you do wake up in the middle of the night don't clock watch turn your clock away so you don't see the clock at night just sort of you know because i used to do that and in the end i had to i turned my clock around so i don't see the numbers um exactly i think i did too much crafting sat too close to the computer mine was TikTok. I was TikToking in the middle of the night. Mm, there's my thought, self info like that. So I'm going to, so uh, I need to put another alarm clock which says TikTok off, TikTok off, TikTok off. I'll do that. Okay, wishing everyone an absolutely amazing evening, whatever you're up to. Thank you for doing your commitment. You've got seven days to do something. So even if Colin just does a 45 minute revision, even if and uh, Lavender Moon does the tabletop pose once. Even if Sally starts her project, and if you don't get it done, at least you've started doing a little bit towards completing it. You've done it, and we will be checking up on you next week. Have a great evening, and we'll catch you all for tomorrow. Take care. Namaste. Bye, 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 bye.